to return to the top of the menu. If you want to enter normal ventilation mode, press the control lock button until you return to normal ventilator operations. The control displays on the LTV can be either bright or dim. The control display is bright when it is active or when selected for change. A control display is dim when another control is selected for changing and when it is not active in the current mode. For example, when pressure ventilation is selected, the volume control display is dim. The display can also be blank. The displays may all go blank when operating on the internal battery in order to conserve power, sort of like when a laptop computer monitor goes blank when you are using the internal battery. You can turn the display back on by pressing any button or by turning the set value knob. The LTV control displays may flash or remain constantly visible. When a control flashes, it means one of the following. If you are changing a control setting and the display flashes, you have reached a limited value for the control. For example, you are trying to set a tidal volume larger than the inspiratory flow allows. If an alarm display flashes, it indicates that an alarm has occurred or is occurring. If a control display flashes, other than when you are trying to change it, it indicates a special condition, such as a time-terminated pressure support breath. If the control lock LED flashes, it indicates that someone tried to change the control settings while the front panel controls were locked. The LTV's front panel is very easy to use. We'll start in the lower left-hand corner of the LTV control panel and work our way across and then up. This is the on standby button. When the ventilator is in standby with external power provided, the on standby LED will be off, but the internal battery will be charging. Push the button to turn the ventilator on. The on standby LED will light up. The power on self-tests, or post, are run. During these tests, the audible alarm is sounded briefly and the front panel displays are illuminated. Once post is complete, the ventilator begins operating using the stored control settings. The ventilator will operate on external battery power if it is available or the internal battery. The battery will be charged while the LTV is on and connected to external power. To turn the ventilator off, Press and hold the on standby button for three seconds. To make sure that the caregiver is aware that the ventilator was turned off, an in-op alarm will occur each time the ventilator is turned off. To cancel the in-op alarm, press and release the silence button. The ventilator in-op light will be illuminated for 10 to 15 minutes after turning off the ventilator. This lets the caregiver know that the ventilator was turned off within the past few minutes. Next is the breath selection control button. The clinician selects between volume and pressure breaths. Then, while the LED is still flashing, must confirm the chosen breath type selected by pressing the button again. This control is not available on the LTV 900. When breath type has been confirmed, the clinician selects between assist control and SIMV CPAP modes and then confirms the selected mode by pressing the button while the LED is still flashing. When assist control is selected, the ventilator will be in the control mode if the sensitivity is set to dashes. If the sensitivity is set to any number from 1 to 9, the ventilator will be in the assist control mode. When SIMV CPAP is selected, the ventilator will be in the SIMV mode when the breath rate is 1 or greater. The ventilator will be in the CPAP mode if the breath rate is set to dashes. The ventilator will begin operating in the new mode as soon as the change is confirmed. Next we have the manual breath button. Pressing this button will deliver one manual breath, not a sigh breath. Pressing this button also sends a bolus of air through the sense lines to reduce condensation. 
On the LTV-1000, to the right of the manual breath button, you'll find the low pressure oxygen source selector. The LTV-950 and 900 do not have an internal oxygen blender and therefore don't need the low pressure oxygen source selector. The last button on the bottom row of the LTV is the control lock button. The LTV front panel may be locked so that settings are not accidentally changed. Now we come to the set value knob which is used to change the control settings and also to navigate the extended features. Turning the knob clockwise increases the values, counterclockwise decreases the values. The top row of the control settings starts with the breath rate this control sets the minimum number of machine or assist breaths to be delivered each minute. The breath rate can be turned off or set from 1 to 80 breaths per minute. Next is the tidal volume control. This control sets the volume of gas delivered to the patient for volume controlled breaths. The LTV can deliver volumes from 50 milliliters to 2000 milliliters. When tidal volume is being updated, the calculated peak flow is displayed in the display window. Next is the pressure control button, which is not available on the LTV 900. This control sets the target pressure above zero centimeters of water pressure for pressure control breaths. The LTV can deliver pressure control from 1 to 99 centimeters of water pressure. The inspiratory control sets the length of the inspiratory period for volume and pressure controlled breaths. The LTV uses the inspiratory time and the volume control setting to determine the peak inspiratory flow for volume controlled breaths. While the inspiratory time is being updated, the calculated peak flow is displayed in the window. Pressure support sets the target pressure above zero centimeters for pressure support breaths. If pressure support is set to dashes, all patient breaths will be given as spontaneous breaths. Inspiratory flow for pressure support and spontaneous breaths is controlled to meet the patient's demand. The range of pressure support is zero to 60 centimeters of water pressure. The oxygen percentage control is available only on the LTV-1000. The sensitivity control sets the threshold to allow the patient to flow trigger assist and patient breaths. A flow trigger can occur only when the ventilator is in the exhalation phase after the minimum exhalation time of 300 milliseconds has expired. The sensitivity can be adjusted from 1 to 9, where 1 is the most sensitive and 9 is the least sensitive, or the patient can be locked out by setting the sensitivity to dashes. The final group of controls are for the alarm functions of the LTV. They are located above the set value knob. The high pressure alarm control can be set from 5 to 100 centimeters of water pressure. The low pressure alarm control 